in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you and also with you. And so, my dear friends, let us first call to mind our sins. Yes, we're in Lent. Yes, we're in a time of uh, pandemic. Yes, the Lord is, is looking faithfully upon his people to preserve them and bring them safely home to himself. We look forward to Easter, a very different kind of Easter this year with no services, but still Christ is risen and we praise him in, in every way. We call to mind our sins. We ask for mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. We implore your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as the feast of our salvation draws ever closer, so we may press forward all the more eagerly toward the worthy celebration of the Paschal Mystery. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. And now our first reading of the Wednesday of the third week of Lent, a reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people and said, Now Israel, hear the statutes and decrees which I am teaching you to observe, that you may live and may enter into and take possession of the land which the Lord, the God of your fathers, is giving you. Therefore I teach you the statutes and decrees as the Lord my God has, has commanded me, that you may observe them in the land you are entering to occupy. Observe them carefully, for thus you will give evidence of your wisdom and intelligence to the nations who will hear of all these statutes and say, this great nation truly is a wise and intelligent people. For what great nation is there that has God so close to it as the Lord our God is to us whenever we call upon him? Or what great nation has statutes and decrees that are just that are as just as the whole law which I am setting before you today? However, take care and be earnestly on your guard not to forget the things which your own eyes have seen, not let them slip from your memory as long as you live, but teach them to your children and to your children's children. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Glory the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion, for he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He sends forth his command to the earth, swiftly runs his word. He spreads snow like wool, frost he strews like ashes. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob his statutes and his ordinances to Israel. He has not done thus for any other nation. His ordinance he has not made known to them. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Glory to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Your words, O Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Glory to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law of the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And so just briefly, of course, we have our Lenten observances, and we're all supposed to be making some special effort to get what closer to the Lord through prayer, fasting, almsgiving, or combinations of, of these of these three of traditional practices. And so the first reading gives us Moses telling the people, Don't forget the commandments. How easy it will be for you to forget them once you're in the land and you see the prosperity of these other Canaanite nations. You see them worshiping false gods and having more things than you have and, and more uh, technological advancements than you have. Don't forget what happened to you in the desert. 
Don't forget what happened at the Red Sea when Pharaoh's army was swallowed up. Don't forget you got the Ten Commandments at Mount Sinai and those who worship the false gods of the golden calf were destroyed and only those pure enough have reached this point where you can enter now the promised land. Don't forget all these things Moses is saying. And so it's really important for us that, that we don't forget. Loads of distractions, loads of things that are more fascinating and more interesting to our lower nature, you know, appear before our eyes every single day. Now, of course, in a certain sense, the Lord is disciplining us by giving us this pandemic. So we see it that way. We, we try to follow through on all that we must do, not grumbling, not complaining, but realizing that we're trying to be in the Lord's will by making extra sacrifices to do all, all we're being asked to do you know, during this time of pandemic. So let's trust the Lord. He's not, he's not changing everything. He's fulfilling everything, as we find out in Matthew. And so we understand that now a little bit better, and we try with all our heart and mind to stay close to the Lord. Moses is always saying, this you are intelligent, even the Canaanites, even the pagans are going to say, well, this is an intelligent people. Look at all these laws that they have. It's interesting, isn't it? It's like the, the parent who's closer to the child disciplines the child more, in a certain sense. And so people looking on the outside say, the poor kid. But the poor kid's actually benefiting because he's going to have a, you know, a good sense of morals, a good sense of, of right and wrong, a good work ethic, and all the rest of it as he gets into life and has to paddle his own boat, so to speak, as an adult. So let's enter into this, this Mass once again with joy, with confidence, and ask you all to help us keep the law to the fullest, keep the, the, the disciplined way of life that a Christian must live, and trust God in all things, even in these times of commotion and confusion. Let us pray to God with all our heart and mind for the needs of the church and all God's holy people. We pray for our country now uh, battling this pandemic, that the Lord bless us in every way. Help us get through this with minimum loss of life. And Lord, that, the, that our economy begin to flourish again so that uh, ordinary people, poor, work, poor people, working people, uh, middle class people and all may have the wherewithal to sustain themselves. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have actually contracted the disease, that there be a swift healing, that we learn how to develop vaccines quickly and, 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 and implement the, the proper kind of treatment and, and health-giving programs. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the rest of us who don't have the, 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 the virus at all, that we trust God in all things, that it doesn't infect us at a later stage, and that may God be given the glory by our obedience to his will at this time. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pause in silence to speak to God of our own personal and family needs. Lord, hear our prayer. Please keep in mind in a special way the announced intention of this Mass, which is the repose of the soul of Frank Lobasso. We offer this for him, for him and the family at this time, Wednesday, March 18th. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you and we praise you for your goodness and love. Watch over your people. We know that you cherish us. We know that we need to call out to you ever more strongly in these difficult times. Give us the grace and strength to do so. All this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through to the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By this mystery of the water and the wine, may we become the sharers of his divinity who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink.
Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of all my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Cleanse your people, O Lord, we pray, from every stain of wickedness, that their gifts may be pleasing to you, and do not let them cling to false joys, for you promise them the rewards of your truth to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we have lifted them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you praise and thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through Christ our Lord. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free of sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who give and reign forever and ever. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew in this sacrament, that we may come to possess your salvation, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. We call on your loving kindness and trust in your mercy, O Lord, that since we have from you all that we are, through your grace, may we seek what is right and have strength to do the good we desire, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just an announcement before we end this Mass. Each day during Lent at an undisclosed time and location, we'll be celebrating the Mass of Lent for that day. It'll be available to you at the website, and we hope that as many as possible St. Francis parishioners will, will benefit from this and any, any others in our local area. We trust that God will bless our efforts uh, to follow out exactly as the diocese is giving us so that we may do our part to stem this pandemic and also receive many graces and many blessings, even in the middle of all this difficulty. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. And may the Almighty God bless us and keep us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. God bless you, everyone.